Oh, hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you my top 10 camping gift ideas for under $100. And a few days from now, we're gonna have Black Friday weekend, and I'm sure prices are gonna go down even more then. Maybe you can catch a really good deal. Stay tuned, and I will show you in detail my favorite camping supplies. At the time of filming this, everything I'm going to show you is under $100. Links will all be down below. Check it out. All right, first on my list is a four pack of these little lanterns. What I like about these lanterns is that they, they're not like normal lanterns. These, you can do white light or flame light. I like to set it up as a flame light and kind of around the perimeter of my campsite, have my campfire in the middle, set these up all the way around the perimeter, doing the flame, and it just kind of makes a good ambient lighting. If you hook a carabiner to the top of them, you can hang them in trees or you can just set them on something. $23 for a four pack. That's a pretty good deal. I love these lights. All right, number two on my favorite camp gift items for under $100 is Dutch ovens. Everybody loves a Dutch oven. If you don't have a Dutch oven, you need to get a Dutch oven. You need to learn how to cook with a Dutch oven. Go to my channel. I have several recipes that have step-by-step -step instructions on how to cook with a Dutch oven. But this is an eight inch Dutch oven. It's made by Lodge. Very heavy duty cast iron. 8 inch 2 quart will feed 2 to 3 people. Again, if you don't know how to cook with a Dutch oven, check out my videos. I have some recipes of very, very tasty recipes and I give step by step instructions on how to use these. The right amount of briquettes to use, everything, top and bottom. This is kind of a two for one. This is a 10 inch 4 quart Dutch oven. This will feed about 4 to 6 people. Probably more than that, maybe four to six to seven, depending on how much you eat. But this one comes in at $55. $55 for the 10 inch four quart, $57 for the eight inch two quart. But you gotta learn how to cook with a Dutch oven. This is a great gift idea right here. All right, number three on my list coming in at $60. This is my favorite single burner camp stove I've ever had. Uh, let's see if I can get it out without tumbling everything down. It's a Gas One. This thing has more BTUs than a normal stove does, so you can heat your coffee up really fast. 15,000 BTUs. You're not going to find another single burner stove or double burner for that fact that has 15,000 BTUs. And you can use butane or propane. The coolest thing about that is I've been out on the road. Um, sometimes I could only find butane. Sometimes I could only find propane. But with a choice of both of them, you absolutely have all your base is covered. When I was in Colorado this last summer, um, as most of you know, if you ever buy these lately, the last two or three years, there's been a run on these to where you can't find them anywhere. All the stores are sold out. When I was in Colorado, that's the way it was. I went to several stores to use these because it's actually cheaper to use this than this. And they didn't have any, nobody had them, but you could still find butane. And on the other hand, there's been places where all I could find was propane and no butane. That was back when I had a butane only stove and I was just out of luck. I couldn't get gas for my stove. But with both of them, you are covered. One word of advice if you are using butane and you're camping where it's really cold. There were some times in Colorado where it was down in the 30s 
and it would just barely burn on my stove because butane do, does not do good when it gets cold. What I had to do to have my morning coffee, I would go to sleep at night and I put this in my sleeping bag with me. And once I did that, it worked fine. But now I just use propane and I'm covered. Let me show you how this works. So you got the you got your compartment over there. And you can just stick your butane in there. Or you hook up the hose to it and hook the hose up to the propane. So it's either or. Coolest camp stove ever. And did I say that stove is only $60? All of these items are priced as I'm telling you at the time of filming, but Black Friday weekend is coming up and I bet all of these prices will go down. Check them out. Check them out on Amazon. Links to all these items are down in the description. So make sure you log on, especially on Black Friday weekend and see what you can get it for. All right, next on the list, coming up at number four of my top 10 items under $100 is a Grail water filter. This is a must have for not only survival, but I just like using it when I'm out camping. Um, you can take any water source, mountain stream, Texas river, a lake, you can take any water source and filter it through this and it will filter out all the bad stuff so you can actually drink the water. This comes in at $80 right now, but I know they always have Black Friday specials on this. So check in the link below and see if you can get it cheaper. I actually, I bring this with me everywhere I go. I've got a little water jug on the back of my trailer that I pull behind my motorcycle and I can fill that water jug up with this from a mountain stream, no problem. Always have water. Okay, coming in at number five on my list, my Marchway camping chair. This thing doesn't take up much room and it is the most comfortable chair ever. The way this chair is made is it kind of just almost pops together itself. Going together. Hope I don't poke your eye out here. <laughs> All right, here's the chair. I had another chair that was sort of like this. It was small and put together about the same way. But this chair is so much more comfortable than that chair was. I really like this chair. easy to put together and there'll be a link down in the description if you want to order one of these there it is all right coming in at number six my favorite fan of all times the DeWalt fan this thing here puts out a lot of air. This thing, you can plug it in, battery, or you can plug it straight in with an extension cord. At time of recording, this thing is $99. It works off a 20 volt battery. You can get different amperages. This is a six amp hour battery. Um, I think you can get all the way from one and a half amp hour all the way up to 12 amp hour batteries for these things. So I did some testing with it. It's variable speed from low, that's on low, all the way up to high and in between anywhere. I tested it on, on low to see how long it would go on one battery. And on low it went 75 hours and 18 minutes on one battery. When I did it on high, it went 13 hours and 40 minutes on high. Now I actually have three batteries, so I could go up on a pretty long camping trip and never run out of battery power. But something else I discovered, I mean, this is the DeWalt battery. You can go onto Amazon and they have these knockoff batteries. 
It's a third of the price. It's a little smaller than the other one. Okay, this is called a Watley battery. And it is one third the price of this. And I did a test on it running on high and it, it lasted two hours la less than what this did. But for a third of the price, you could buy three of these and run a lot longer than you could for one of those. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Best camping fan I've ever had. Um, be sure to check out my video on camping fans where I compared them all and this one won hands down. All right, coming at number seven on my list. Um, okay, when I set up my tent, I the front of my tent opens up really wide and I just drop it down so I have lots of room to get all my stuff in. I go in, I set up my cot, I set up my mat, set up my table, all my stuff inside my tent and then I zip it back up and it never fails. Bugs get into it while I'm loading my tent. So I get ready to go to sleep at night and there's bugs all over the ceiling. So, you know, I used to just sit there with my hat, poof, 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 swatting bugs. Now, this is the coolest thing ever. How many of you used to sit around with a 12 pack of beer and a big bug zapper back in the 80s? and possibly the 90s. I don't know if they even sell those big bug zappers anymore. But this, it is a light. You hang it, I can hang it from my tent, it's a light. But it is also a bug zapper. You can get a close look at that. It's kind of glowing blue right now, but, and it works. First time I got this, I set up my tent. There was lots of bugs out. I loaded up my tent, got my cot all set up, zipped up the, the front door of my tent, and there were bugs everywhere in there. So I just hung this from the top of my tent. When I got ready to go to bed that night, I walked in there, not a single bug anywhere. This is the way to do it. And you can hear them zapping, that's the cool thing. Bug gets in there and zap, zap. If I had a bug to throw in there, I'd show you, but I don't know. But yeah, portable bug zapper. What's cooler than that? $24 on Amazon right now. $24 for a portable bug zapper. Link is down in the description. Go get one before they're sold out. Okay, number eight on my list of top 10 camping items for under $100. USB string lights. You heard that, USB. I bought this, I bought this because I had built a solar generator onto my trailer and I wanted to test out some USB things on it. I was blown away with how bright these light bulbs are. See if you can see this. Uh, packed in here pretty tight. Yeah, there's the light bulbs. There are 10 light bulbs total on a string that's 25 feet long. 25 feet long. And you can get the bulbs in warm or soft white. I got warm because it looks more like my other lights. You know, kind of a campfire look. But for camping, I want everything warm. And if you don't have a solar generator to plug it into, all you need is a little power bank, USB power bank like you use to charge your phone. Just plug them right in. Plug the string lights into the USB power bank and you've got awesome lighting for your campsite. This is one of my favorites right here. And it comes in at $26. String of lights, $26 for a 25 foot long cord with 10 lights. Super good deal. All right, coming in at number nine on my list, top 10 gift items for under $100. the Mr. Heater Buddy Heater. This thing is a lifesaver when it's cold. Um, I use it in my tent. Um, make sure if you're using your tent you have lots of ventilation. And that being said, it does have some safety features. It's got a safety feature if it gets kicked over, it automatically shuts off. It also has a low oxygen sensor in it. So if the, the oxygen levels inside your tent get too low, it will automatically shut off. Those are great safety features. And if you're still worried about it, you can get a carbon monoxide tester and put that in your tent. But the way my tent is set up, 
it's, I've got this big open area that's, that's open, vented, and what I do is I set the, uh, I set the stove up right up close, pretty close to the door, and I open up the vent in the door. So there's a vent there and a vent on top. It's perfect. I don't even put it on high. I keep it on low and it warms my tent up. But yeah, the Mr. Buddy heater right now is $99. So go get one for $99 and probably one of the best heaters you've ever owned. Okay, last on the list, last but not least, the Schrade Hatchet. It has a really cool sheath for it, which actually has a belt strap, so you can strap it to your belt. A lot of people don't know this, but I used to frame houses for a living. So I was very stickler about the weight of my hammers that I used when I was framing, because some, some hammers just really sucked. This one, the weight of this, it's weighted perfect. Weighted for chopping. It's got a, like a rubber molded grip that fits your hand perfect. And it's got a really good sharp blade. And just like my old framing hammers, it's got the uh, corrugated little hammer area there. I use the hammer to, to, to drive stakes down, but you could use that to nail nails if you needed to. Um, Back when I was framing houses, we called that a meat tenderizer because if you ever hit your thumb with it, you'll know why it's called a meat tenderizer. But yeah, this is this is a really good hatchet, best hatchet I've ever owned, and it comes in at thirty-five dollars right now. Is what this hatchet is, and there's one extra little hidden feature. It's got a ferro rod. So you have, a, you have a fire starter built into your hatchet. Perfect. I highly recommend this. So go, go get one. Check it out on Black Friday. I bet it'll be even cheaper. $35 at the time of filming this. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 list. Like I say, everything in this whole list is down in the description. There's links to all these items down in the description. Um, at time of recording this, the prices I gave you are the prices they are right now. Um, they could go up or down. You know how Amazon is. But I would be willing to bet you if you logged in on Black Friday weekend, these prices are all going to be cheaper. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Why not? I do a lot of fun things on this channel, motorcycle camping and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff or if you're into camping in general, subscribe to my channel. But thank you for watching and y'all have a good one.